Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are back with one of my favorite brands, which is of course Halara, specifically taking a look at some activewear pieces, some cute stuff for spring and some stuff for work. Now, if you are looking for a review of a very specific piece from Halara, I have probably tried it at this point. I have done many different reviews of all kinds of different pieces from Halara over the years and I have a full playlist so I will link to that down below and up here if you want to check out the full Halara reviews playlist. Like always when I do these Halara reviews I do want to disclose that they sent me these pieces free of charge however that does not mean that I only have to say nice things. I always try to give my brutally honest opinions about everything, what I like, what I don't like as much in hopes that I can help you decide which pieces you might want to spend your hard-earned money on and which maybe you want to pass on. Now this also means that I will have a discount code for you down in the description box and down here on the screen that you can use to save some money on full priced items and I will also have links to each of the specific things that I'm trying today down in the description box along with what color I got and what size I got and with Halara you have to know just because I got something in this dark green Green color. If you don't like dark green but you like the leggings, they will 100% have them in many other colors. Absolutely everything that they have comes in like an entire rainbow of colorways and it's one of the reasons that I love them so much. I really feel like they are so good at releasing a good product that people like and then expanding it so that you can get it in multiple other colors because I don't know about you but when I find a pair of leggings I love or like a t-shirt or a sports bra, I do want it in like four five different colors so I can just wear them all the time. And with that, let's get right into the video with this first outfit. And in particular, I wanted to talk about this first because these used to be called the Cloudful 3.0 leggings, which I have raved about. I absolutely freaking love them. They rebranded this fabric name based on customer feedback because people felt like Cloudful, they didn't really know what that meant, to be Softly Zero. So these are officially the Softly Zero leggings, which are meant to be like a super ultra lightweight skin like legging. The thing I would compare the most to is like OG Lululemon Aligns where they feel almost like you're wearing nothing. However, unlike Aligns, I have had pairs of these exact leggings with this exact fabric composition for like eight plus months. I wear them constantly while I'm walking on my walking pad and I usually walk on it for like an hour and a half to two hours per day and they do not have pilling between the legs. If you have thicker thighs, you will know where I'm coming from. For me, if I'm walking for an hour and a half in a pair of Lululemon Aligns, they're getting shredded. So I really, really love these leggings and I highly recommend them. Now these leggings are a great example of something that comes in so many different colorways. This particular colorway is Viridian. I am only five foot one, so on me, these are a full length pair of leggings, but if you're a bit taller, they will be more of like an ankle length. I find these leggings to be very flattering on the bum in all of the colors I've tried. I have a lot of cellulite on my bum and on my legs and I find a lot of times thinner leggings really highlight that. I do not find that in these and I even have these in like pink which typically is one of the worst colors for highlighting cellulite a lot so if that's a concern for you these might be good ones to try. They do have nice deep pockets and these have absolutely no compression like these are meant to be ultra comfy ultra skin like feels like you're wearing nothing leggings. If you want more compression they do also carry another line called So Cinched which have a lot more compression across the tummy in particular and are meant to kind of like cinch in your waist almost like shapewear leggings. So you can definitely find those and I'll add a link to those down below if you want to check them out. But if you want the comfiest, most amazing leggings for working out in, hanging out in, I just wear these around my house constantly. The Softly Zero is the way to go. And then to pair with the beautiful Viridian Green, I did have to get a little green top as well. And one of the things that I like about Halara is because they have so many different color options, rather than just getting like a one-to-one -one match, which you absolutely can get if you want a perfect matching top, you can get something like this that's like very complimentary. Like I've done variations of like dark pink and red that looked really good together. For Christmas, I had like red and green. Because they have so many different colors, it's really like the world's your oyster in terms of picking different things that match. So this color is called Hedge Green and this is the Uneck crossover backless top. And they 
kind of market this as more of like a ballet top, but I feel like this for me, if I'm doing once again, my little walking workout on my treadmill, if I'm doing weightlifting, I could very easily wear this top. And I think that it is super cute. Now it does have a shelf bra in here, which is nice. And then it also has removable padding. If you don't love the removable pads, they are removable so you can take them out. But I think that this as a little outfit with a little pair of white tennis shoes looks completely adorable. I love the color combo. It really just gives me another excuse to show you some of my favorite leggings of all time. Now, next up we have a little bit of a work look with this blue blouse bodysuit, which I actually think is so cute with its little poof sleeves. It has a V neckline, but not too low so that you can still wear it to work, which I I always appreciate. And then it is a thong style bodysuit. It's fairly high cut, but for me, I always wear high rise pants to work. So like, you're not going to be able to see how high cut it is regardless. I just have a little pair of heels to really show these pants, but I feel like these are very cute and super appropriate for work. They have real pockets. They look like they have a fly at the front, but it's not a real fly and there's not like a real button. They do have belt loops. So if you need to wear a belt to work you can still do that i feel like they are still really flattering on the bum without it being like too much for the workplace if you know what i mean sometimes i don't want it to be too too tight and at the back they do have like the fake back pockets so that they're not adding like bulk to your bum but it still looks like a professional pair of dress pants and i got these in a size medium like i said i'm only a five foot one so they are a little bit too long for me i definitely would need a heel to be able to wear these to work without getting them hemmed but I think that they do look quite professional, especially with like a little blousey top. Or if you were to wear a blouse that's like not tucked in, I feel like there's 0% chance anybody would ever know that these are like stretchy pants and not dress pants. And for me, I want to be comfy at work. I totally love dressing cute, but if I have to sit at a desk for eight hours a day, I want to be comfy beyond everything else. So definitely like these and definitely think I'll wear them. All right, next up. Up. This is kind of a funny juxtaposition because the top, I think actively I would not recommend. The bottoms, I freaking love. And in fact, I'm taking the scissors and cutting the tag off the bottom immediately because I love them. So let's talk about the top first and why it doesn't work for me. So this top is obviously white and it has these like very flimsy little removable cups in it. And the way that they're sitting in here, you can completely 100% see them through the top. I have a mirror right here. I think just completely removes the point of having them in there at all. So I would say that's fine. I'll just take them out and wear a bra or something. You can't because it's a completely open back top. So then I thought maybe I'll just take the padding out and wear pasties. But because the fabric is so thin, I feel like you can still somewhat see the pasties through it too. And it's just sitting on me a little bit awkwardly at the armpits. So the top for me is going to be a no. Like maybe this could work if you were really, really flat chested. If you have boobs at all, I feel like it just sits a little awkwardly that it's going to be stretched. So then you'll be able to see the padding underneath. It just doesn't really work for my body type. But moving on from the top and looking at these pants, these dress pants are amazing. So I once again just have that same little pair of heels on under here. Now these ones I was able to get in a size medium petite and you can see they fit me perfectly at five foot one. If you're taller, obviously go with like a standard length and not the petite. They are very much like a straight leg and then they do have nice deep pockets once again. But unlike any of the other dress pant options that I've tried from Halara, these ones are non-stretch. These are like actual traditional dress pants. And yet I feel like they look so freaking cute. They're made of this fairly thin material. So I still feel like they look really good on your bum. They aren't too big or bulky, which I sometimes experience with dress pants that are made of like an actual standard non-stretch material. They just have too much pleating and they look too big. And then it looks awkward on me, probably once again, because I'm very, very short. So I need things that aren't like huge. 
huge. These have two buttons. They sit nice and high. I feel like they look very, very flattering. They're hitting you with that nice wide waistband at the smallest part of your waist and then kind of flaring out from there, giving you some really nice shape. They do have real belt loops. The buttons are real buttons. They have a real zipper fly. I feel like these are absolutely perfect. If I'm not wearing a stretch dress pant, you can bet I'm going to be wearing something like this because I think this looks absolutely adorable. And who doesn't love feeling super cute at work? Plus I do really, really like the gray. I think that the gray looks perfect. And with a white top and just like a little blazer, I think that the gray will be a sleigh. I definitely like them. Next up, ahead of spring, you know I had to get one of their exercise dresses, their everyday dresses. And these are really why Halara got so famous in my opinion. These dresses were absolutely everywhere. I feel like everybody had one. I don't hear them talked about nearly enough anymore. These are so cute and they are so comfy. So these are essentially a dress made of like a ultra stretchy sweat wicking exercise material. So you can wear this, you can get sweaty in it, you can get dirt on it. It doesn't matter. It's not the type of fabric that's going to stain and it's literally meant to be sweat in and it's literally meant to be sweat in so you don't have to worry about like going and playing tennis or badminton or pickleball or whatever and getting sweat on it. That is its purpose and all of these dresses have built-in shorts so you also don't have to worry about your skirt blowing up in the wind if you decide to wear this to like a little picnic. You don't have to worry about sitting on the ground and playing with pets or kids because you literally have shorts underneath. It doesn't matter if you're like bent over. You don't have to worry about chub rub because oh surprise you have shorts underneath here. They are excellent and I wear mine literally all summer long. I have a couple different colors and a couple different styles but this is the backless like twist back version of this dress and if you don't love how that back looks they have so many other styles they have just traditional little thin spaghetti straps they have thicker straps they have ones that have pleated skirts ones that are just solid like this ones with ties in the center for a little more waist definition literally they have so many different styles of these dresses and in my opinion all of them are exceptionally cute I have not had any that I have haven't liked yet. The shorts in here do have pockets and this particular style of this dress, I know I always get questions. How do you pee? How do you pee in those dresses? Do you have to take it off? The shorts aren't attached at the very back. So you go and you pull these down like a regular pair of shorts. They are <laughs> unbelievable in all the different things that they've thought about for these dresses. Really, I feel like everybody deserves to try them at least once. And if you want the style that is easy to go to the bathroom in where the shorts aren't fully attached at the back, they're only attached at the front, then just search for the easy peasy variations of the dress on their website. And that's basically just like, it's easy to go to the bathroom in. And like I said, I will have this specific one linked down below, but maybe I'll try and link a couple other styles of the easy peasy ones in particular, because once I tried this style, I could never go back. It's just so convenient to be able to pull them down. And last but certainly not least, something else a little bit fun for spring. I have this little thing that might look similar if you saw my last Halara video to a pair of overalls I tried on. This time it is short so it's like a little romper. I thought this was very cute. I do feel like I'm running into slightly the same problem as last time where does it look a little too juvenile on me? Does it look a little bit too much like a giant toddler? <laughs> like I do think it's cute and I like it and it's very very comfortable so I can see why it would be so convenient to just throw this on over a t-shirt in the summer. So let me know what you think. But essentially this is overalls. So it has three different button lengths. I have it on the highest one because once again, I'm really short. It does have a pocket in the middle and then two big pockets on the side. Now, because I have to have it so high, I do feel like the side pockets are kind of at like an awkwardly high height on me, but that's because I have a very short torso. Now the length on these, they're obviously fairly short. They would be much shorter on a taller person, but also I have like an odd amount of like drop crotch going on, which I don't love. And then while I think that it is cute from the front, I do struggle with how it would look from the back, mostly just because it's like quite baggy unless I were to wear a belt or something. So the back ends up looking like it's just like sticking straight out and obviously not super flattering on the bum and not everything has to be flattering at all times. But do we like it? Do we think it's cute? I definitely could see somebody taller rocking 
liking this and looking super, super cute in it. I think for me, it just has to do with how short I am, why I'm feeling like it looks a little bit awkward. But definitely let me know what you think. As I mentioned, it is very soft. It's like a waffle stretch fabric. So it's super comfy to wear, nice and airy. You wouldn't get too hot in the summer, but does it look good on me? You be the judge. And with that, those are all the different pieces I tried from Halara this time. Like always, be sure to let me know what you liked and what you didn't like down in the comments section. And my number one recommended thing at Halara still remains those Softly Zero leggings. They are so unbelievably good. I have them in, I think, five colors now, and all of them are amazing. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you have a fabulous week and that I will see you next time. Bye!